This is the Suneshi Heavy Industries Shipbuilding Facility located in Palamban, Cebu, and it has emerged to become one of the largest naval vessel building programs within the country of the Philippines. Occupying a site area of about 1.4 million square meters, the Suneshi Cebu Shipyard today employs the sum of about 779 employees with 7,349 more from partner companies. It dates its way back to 1994 when Japan based Suneshi Group and local based Aboitis Group established a joint venture that would form this heavy industries initiative. The plan was to create a dock for shipbuilding and repairing business. This had eventually been a glamorous success led by the attractiveness of the maritime needs the Philippines offers. With that, they were able to consistently deliver gigantic ships that are known to have tens of thousands worth of deadweight metric tons serving as bulk carriers. This success has also led them to consistently grow their local business and achieve a more diversified workflow, opening up their own new admin offices, hotels, staff houses, and more. It is even so renowned that Suneshi Shipyard has also become one of the most famous and most successful foreign investments in all of the Philippines' history, receiving award after award for its consistent contribution to the overall economy of the archipelago nation. It took a trusted venture from two nations and 450 million pesos in initial capital to build one of the world's largest medium-sized shipbuilders, capable of building 180,000-ton bulk carriers and a factory that is today equipped to be able to build over 30 ships a year. Equipped with two shipbuilding berths and one building dock, it has truly lived up to a giant achievement. The Suneshi Group has greatly benefited as a result of their strong and consistent expansion throughout the country. Their way of delivering technologies from Japan to the Philippines will prove to be a miracle in the coming future. With their prominent rise, they are then given back to the local communities, which had them emerge to support various means such as medical, educational, and environmental throughout its lifetime in Cebu. Anyway, what do you think?